Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for kicking my boyfriend's friend out and breaking up with him? I, 22F, have been living with my boyfriend, 24M, for a few months now, and things have been pretty tense. Four months ago, his friend, 25F, moved in with us because she had nowhere else to go. I was okay with her staying as long as she respected our boundaries and followed the house rules. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. From the start, she's been a huge issue. She's incredibly loud, constantly commenting on everything, and just generally doing stuff that feels totally inappropriate. She tries to justify her behavior by saying it's part of her Latina culture, but honestly, I don't think that's a fair excuse for her lack of respect. She barely helps out around the house. Sometimes she'll cook, but she never cleans up after herself. She also invites people over whenever she wants without asking us first. One time, she even changed her clothes in the living room, including taking off her underwear, which was beyond uncomfortable. I asked her to change in her room, but she said she was just trying to feel at home and suggested that I should do the same to bond better with my boyfriend. I talked to my boyfriend about how I was feeling uncomfortable with the whole situation. He told me not to overthink it and that she's just laid back and cool. But things kept getting worse. She would constantly interrupt our time together, sitting between me and my boyfriend during movies, taking over my space while I was on the bathroom break, and even cuddling with him in a way that felt way too intimate for comfort. When I jokingly asked if she was trying to steal my man, she brushed it off by saying it's just how they grew up culturally. It all came to a head one Friday night. I found her all over my boyfriend. And when I asked him to come to our room to talk, she said it was their favorite part of the movie and he could leave later. I insisted he come with me, but she kept pulling him back. At that point, I was done. I pulled him to our room and we talked about how her behavior was really upsetting me. He agreed that her actions were unacceptable and that she needed to move out, but he was concerned because she had nowhere else to go and wasn't even trying to find a job. While we were discussing it, she started knocking on our door, which we had locked. She got louder and more aggressive, accusing me of ruining her time with my boyfriend. I was fed up and told her she needed to find a new place to live within two weeks. She's been crying since then, refusing to eat and staying locked in her room. My boyfriend is now saying that I went too far and that I hit a sensitive spot. He believes that telling her to leave when she has no family or other place to go was harsh. He's also concerned that I might have ruined their friendship which he feels is a huge red flag. The thing is, this is my property that I inherited from my aunt, so I feel like I have a right to set boundaries in my own home. I didn't even ask my boyfriend what conclusion he and his friend came to during their long discussion, but I felt I had to take action. So, Ate for telling her to leave when she has nowhere else to go and making my boyfriend's friend cry? Thank you everyone for the advice and helping me open an eye on the real issue. It was past midnight when I posted that, and my life literally took a 108 I dug in less than 24 hours. It has been overwhelming, and I didn't expect this would reach many people. The comments were like a slap in the face I really needed. Apparently I was too blind. Yeah, I guess my boyfriend isn't who I thought he was. He has been trying to give her food try to calm her down and literally took a day off from college and work, he goes on Sundays too, which he never did for me and he never even get days off from his classes unless really necessary with proof, nursing, Ike how he managed to get a day off. I really wanted to make sure it is what it looks like before deciding my next move. I prepared lunch way before time and asked him if he was around for lunch and his response. I'm trying to get her to have breakfast and you're talking about lunch, you're becoming unrecognizable. Yay, I didn't know what to reply so, just asked again, but he said we can have lunch together if she's willing to join us as it is rude if we eat without her. At this point I felt like shit tbh, and asked him why was she so important that he cancelled all his plans just to support her emotionally which he never did when I went through things myself, but he just left like that. I invited my guy friend over which she doesn't like, and I explained to him our situation and just asked him to be comfortable. I didn't want to do the cuddling stuff like them, because we didn't break up yet at that point and it was weird anyways because we don't usually. My boyfriend never realized someone was over until he came to take food and he saw us having lunch together and he just gave me a look said hi and was going to take some for themselves until he realized it was a creamy rice casserole, 
which his friend doesn't like and yeah I did that on purpose, and chicken roast with some sides and he literally glared at me and said you know she doesn't eat that and I just replied well it's not her who I made this for, then he threw the plate, I started shouting asking what the FCK was wrong with me, and that he wishes he never dated me. It was so scary my friend got involved they got aggressive and I just asked him to leave with his other girlfriend which she replied with. Oh so you're replacing me that fast, but I told him he was the one who has replaced me a long time ago, but I was too dumb to realize. He actually moved in fully when his friend came in colleges here do provide dorms, but of course it's not like she can live with him and I couldn't care less anymore. Also no legal action is required for someone you haven't signed papers with where I live. They were just guests. I packed his things for him, which aren't a lot, and left it by the front door. He came crying and apologizing and acknowledging what he did was wrong and just other bullshit I didn't want to hear because the damage was already done. My friend was of great support and he dealt with everything else as I cried my eyes out in my room. And that sums up how I went through my first heartbreak, and it was my first relationship and I did love him, but I guess I can watch, eat and do anything now without catering to anyone's needs. I'm changing the locks tomorrow morning and we're ordering fried chicken, apparently a proven heartbreak remedy by my friend. Comment Grumptulips. She's Latina? With no familia? Lies and bullshit. Hispanic communities are very inclusive. They don't suffer fools, though. If she's not welcomed by them, it's because she's done this before many times. Kick them both out. If she hasn't already taken your man, she's trying to. I wouldn't think a man who disrespects you enough to cuddle another woman on your couch in your home would be worth fighting for and you were there. She probably thought it was his place and she could get him to kick up out and boom free home. And the Latina thing such BS, that is absolutely not our culture. My dad would have whooped my ass if I got naked in the living room. Murphy 2,345,678 If you let both of them live with you any longer. Your BF has two GFs but you don't know it. He loves the attention he is getting from two girls fighting over him. Wanderer Don't feel bad for kicking her out. She clearly didn't respect you, your relationship, and your home. Your BF is an offer allowing her to flirt and cuddle him. I bet he loved the extra attention. You have a BF issue on your hands. It wouldn't surprise me if they were hooking up behind your back. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.